Hey guys, I don't sure here. Uh, the last fight I covered was Nathan Benden versus Sexan. Uh, this fight was on the same card. Uh, Nico Carrillo versus Muang Tai PK Sanchai Jim. Um, I was very impressed with Nico's performance. Uh, he did some really nice stuff that I thought it'd be interesting to look at. So, uh, yeah, let's get into the fight. Um, here we go. You see how fast his right kick is? Now, there's something that reminds me of Talan Chai with him. Like, he's got like cold killer kind of vibe. Um, I mean, he's from Scotland, so he's pretty cold anyway. But, uh, yeah. He's big for the weight too. You know, look at him compared to Muang Tai. There's a size difference. You know, so the, you can see, you know, being an orthodox versus a southpaw, you really need to be landing with your right side, you know, quick and effectively. Um, you know, that will be your power side against a southpaw. Or the, the other way around. Um, I spoke about this before. But yeah, it's making good use of using that right kick and then, like, using his boxing from there. Big left hook. Yeah, Wang Tai's doing a good job here, just backing him up, just lifting this leg up and down, just keeping him guessing a little bit. Just Nico keeping it quite simple so far. Just okay. So what did he do there? Why did he switch? Okay, yeah, gets caught with the inside low kick. So just a, a way of like taking the power out of it a, a little bit maybe, or you know just stopping his opponent from being able to to catch him with anything after that. It, it changes stance. Um, you know, just gives you. It, it, it's not a feint and it's not an attack. So just keeps your opponent guessing a little bit. It's quite safe. You know, you can do it from an inside low kick or a teep. You can just step back. Um, these sort of movements can be really effective. You know, uh, just keeping your, mind, your opponent's mind and his eyes going up and down. You know, keeping him busy. It's a hard low kick. It's a nice sweep. See how he did that? He... Uh, Catches a leg, but then really lifts it up. So, yeah, I'll show you again one more. That's something that you that see some people don't really do. They they don't lift it up and that, like, you know, sometimes even just lifting the leg up is enough to keep, the, that, like, bring your opponent to, to their knees. Um, but yeah. See, and then he kind of corkscrewed his leg out of... So the kick lines, and you can kind of see, like, kind of unscrews his foot and pulls it out. Just really quick. That's how you, That's one way of getting out of that. And again, you get the same thing uh, on Wang Tai. Yeah, if someone catches a kick, one of the quickest things that you can do that can work is kind of unscrew your foot uh, uh, as you pull it down. It can work. See, I, what I, I remember seeing that and liking what I saw. So he catches his kick. He's he's aware of where he is in the ring. He knows that his back's against the corner. So what he does is catches his kick. And instead of attacking from there, he just spins his opponent around. So now he's out of the corner. Um, you know, that's pretty high-level stuff just to, know, just to know where you are in the ring. That ring control is really important. So, yeah, I was impressed with this. do not really punish Moang Tai from there, but he gets himself out of a corner, which is good. See, just easy control of the of the clinch here. So, yeah, see how he's just got his arms over the top of Moang Tai's. So he's the, the way he's holding him, he's just preventing Moang Tai from being able to elbow. Um, yeah, I mean, it really, just really easy but effective. Uh, it, it seems like now, uh, especially in one FC with these kind of you know these kind of Muay Thai fights, that as long as you can neutralize the clinch, you can do really well. You don't need to be great in a clinch anymore because um, people are preferring to see the fights with less clinching in. 
Um, you know, clinching is still important to do and to learn, but you know, uh, just being able to neutralise a clinch well can be enough. And this is what he's done here. Neutralised it, not really worked from there. Just that little trip. Where does he get that? So, let's have a look. Okay, yeah, just really quick. Just traps his ankle here. It's a simple one. You kind of pull down and uh, trip on the same side. Uh, just effective. You know, uh, it works. And easy. You know, when you pull someone that way anyway, like, same thing. So it was out of the clinch then. But when you pull someone this way, they kind of have to put their weight on that foot. So when you, if, as you pull, if you, as long as you trap that foot, you'll be able to pull them down. Um, again. See, Muang Tai has spent hundreds of thousands of hours in the clinch. And he's still getting caught with things like that. Now, I like that he does this. Walks him down, like keeping him guessing with his guard, with, with his... Uh, it's almost like he's stepping forward with his blocks. But I like it. It's just a way of keeping Nico uh, guessing. But then Nico throws this nice up elbow. Sexan just did it in that last fight, if you want to check out that video. But you can see it here, like the John Jones style or Anderson Silva style elbow. It's nice. <laughs> Same trap again for by, by Nico. Same side too. Now, you know, just thousands and thousands of hours spent the clinch by by Muang Tai. And he's getting caught with a guy with, that's vastly less experienced. Um, you know, I'm sure that Nico's got some, you know, got some good training, got, you know, loads of hours in the gym. But experience-wise, you'd have to go with Muang Tai. And he's still getting caught with pretty basic things. But you just need to be good at those basics. And... It, Although they don't score too highly, you can demoralize your opponent a lot by keeping them on the canvas like that. Um, you know, to, to Wang Tai, he'll probably feel like he's been uh, that he hasn't been off the canvas all round, and he's only gone down what three or four times. Can I just put this forward a little bit? Again, he goes down. See, again, using this using this leg catch to pull himself out of the corner. That's It's really smart. Um, oh! Big shot. I'll just look at that again. Oh. That was such a big elbow. It's almost like uh, Matt Brown. Uh, I can't remember who he fought, but he did that to somebody. Oh, and again. See, now Nico's got that, you know, he's coming forward with that confidence um, and, and that momentum. That was smart, but that, that wasn't, I don't think anything really landed here, but Wang Tai knew that something was coming, so he kind of put himself on a canvas. Sometimes that it, it's better to take the count than it is to take the shot. Get, give yourself a bit of a breather. Oh, nice body shot. Elbow again, knee. I'm not, yeah. I remember watching this yesterday and thinking that he'd already hit the three knockdown rule, but that the referee hadn't scored him that way. What was it? What landed there? Right hand. Was it? Sorry. I know it can be annoying going backwards and forwards like that. I just want to see this again. Yeah. Damn. Oh, there you go. So, you know, it, Nico's obviously a great fighter. He looks very technical. And he really does remind me of uh, Tawan Chai. There's just something about him. Um, but you can see, you know, you don't need to be frightened of these guys that have had 500 fights and stuff. 
as long as you're going fit and you know you you know you doing well technically you know you don't have anything to worry about you only need a few attributes to win a fight you know nico looks like he's extremely fit uh he's definitely not frightened of anybody you know uh yeah, and just very good at the basics. Like those leg catches and sweeps and stuff. They're basic. I mean, even the elbows that he caught him with. There's nothing super advanced about them. He just worked from, from where he was. You know, uh... But yeah, the, the trick is being great at the basics. Too many times you're going to a gym and you see people wanting to learn spinning elbows and Superman punches and all kinds of super advanced stuff. Um... But you're much better off spending a few thousand hours just working on a, on one kick and one out one, one punch than you are, you know, just trying to learn like the full uh, full arsenal of strikes that you that you could do. But yeah, there we go. A great performance by Nico. Uh, you know, some great fighters coming out of the UK at the moment. Um, but yeah, he's a good one. I, I'm very impressed with him. I look forward to seeing him fight again. Uh, I'm not sure who they're going to put him in with, but I heard that uh, you know maybe a champion championship fight would be up there for him. But yeah, you know you consider him and Jonathan Haggerty. I think they're the same weight. Be interesting. But the biggest fight in the UK for a while anyway. Um, here we go. A few backflips for you. I'll let him do his third one. There we go. All right, guys. If you enjoyed that, just consider liking and subscribing. It really helps out. And uh, if there are any fights that you want to see me react to, just leave them in the comments. All right, I'll speak to you soon.